Elizabeth from 99.1 The Mix is live with new weekend picks. Look at that. You are ready for Halloween, Elizabeth. You got the jack-o'-lantern there. And this is actually fitting because the annual jack-o'-lantern nights at the Racine Zoo returns and they have something all new this year. This is going to be so fun for the kids and for the big kids as well. Now, this isn't an actual jack-o'-lantern. No, I didn't carve this. This is my candy getting pumpkin. But if you head to the Racine Zoo every Thursday through Sunday, now through the end of October, you will see over 1,000 carved jack-o'-lanterns. That's a lot of pumpkin seeds. That's a lot of cleaning out those pumpkin guts, but they look incredible. And you get to vote. You get to decide who has the best decorated space. Now, speaking of something new, they have pumpkin sculptures, giant sculptures. You might see a zebra, you might see a giraffe. I have to say though, when it comes to carving those jack-o'-lanterns, the first cut is always the hardest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was going to say, I'm not that great at it. And it seems like that competition from the pictures that we were showing is a pretty big one. So a lot of creativity a lot of talent out there. So cool that we get to vote on it. Now, Elizabeth, in Milwaukee, there's a celebration for pets on Brady Street. All kinds of pets. Sunday, 11 until 3, it's the Brady Street Pet <laughs> Festival. Bring your pets out. Now, this isn't just dogs. So you might see some cats. If you're like my sister, Natalie, <laughs> she actually has a cat she puts on a leash. Aww. It's like a dog. Bring your lizard, bring whatever you'd like. But the pet parade happens at one o'clock. There's a small fee to participate in the pet parade, but proceeds do go to charity. Now, I know my two dogs, they would never let me put them in costume. What about <laughs> yeah. you, Deanna? What about Nala? No, Nala's always in costume. She has a hoodie <laughs> that she's going to be wearing today. Um, she'll wear a tutu yeah. on Sunday. And some video that we showed, <laughs> there was a rat in a costume. So like you said, all uh. kinds of pets will be showing up for the parade. <laughs> Just in time for Halloween, the Fear Grounds return in Waukesha. And they are celebrating their 20th year. This is at the Waukesha, Waukesha County Expo Grounds. If you're into scary things and haunted houses, this is a classic. It's a must-see. They are going bigger than ever because they are celebrating 20 years, like I mentioned. And you can see Sketchy and all of his sketchy <laughs> misfits and characters. There's two haunts, if you dare. I don't know. I've done it in the past. My son and his friends love this haunted house. I'm fine just dropping off and picking up the kids. I'm good. I don't know if it's for me. <laughs> I, did, I did it years ago. I'm good. Yeah, see, I, my dad always says, you pay to get scared. Why yeah, do you do that? It is fun. I think <laughs> Lindsay actually went last weekend, so she was talking yeah. about how good it was. So definitely something to check out. So cool. Okay, let's talk about Oktoberfest in Lake Geneva because it kicks off tomorrow. Free admission tomorrow through Sunday. You're going to get your local vendors, your artisans, live music, craft beers, dog races, and of course, you're going to get some steins. And I asked my husband last night, I said, do we have any steins at the <laughs> house I can use for the segment? He handed me this stein, oh, which perfect. is perfect for Halloween. I said, what the heck? Look at this stein. <laughs> I love that. I love that. We also have some pretty cool ones at home. I should have brought mine. I yeah. should have brought mine. All it needs is a little beer, and it will be perfect <laughs> for Oktoberfest. <laughs> <You're old. laughs>